what up, man? I'm sorry for all the confusion and everything uh, and for the sloppy start. Episode 113. Everybody can me? You good? Yep. Fuck it. We're going to jump right into it, man. Episode 113 of the Carrying the Culture Show with Planet Asia, my man. Fresno. Uh -huh. I woke this nigga up. You know Where? what I'm saying? Shit. Oh, the dog. I had the itis, man. Uh, I'm over here with Diggs. What I was eating seafood and I fell asleep. Fucking burn. I still love you, my. You're still my fucking hell. Like it's all, it's all good. We're gonna get into yeah. it. We're gonna get into it. I, I saw, and if that's the case, I should force you to fucking spit something at the end just for, just for that. Do it. Um, I'm I ain't for real. So yo, um, anyway, we just gonna jump around for a bit. Anyway, it's some loose shit. It's been a minute since we since we caught up and everything. So. Um, yo, I, I haven't been able to keep up. I, I kind of, it's so much, yo, like, I start, I, I, it's really overwhelming, man. I just want to get in the catalog is, so I, I lost track at, at like the body bag shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, yo, how do you keep, how, how like, how, how, man, like, how? Yeah. Um, what keeps man, the you burning? Uh, a slight bit of competition and a slight bit of insanity. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be a little insane, man. I think I mean, so. Yeah. I think you gotta be a little. You got, you can't be normal, cause a, a normal motherfucker ain't gonna do this. He gonna be like, I mean, I'm going to work, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> no, like, let's, I got other shit to do. I, can't keep up, man. I honestly, and you my man. Like, I fucks with your music heavy. I fucks with, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I honestly got, like, so overwhelmed with, like, the amount of music you're putting out. I, I just said, like, I can't fuck, fuck with you. I jump in when I jump in, right? <laughs> I said, I know I'm just going, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get it. It's like, I'll get so I know when I jump in, it'll be hot, whatever. Like, I, I but I can't. Like, I just, I couldn't keep right. up. It was. I, I call, I'll be, this me. I'll call you when I feel like, that's why I hit you with the body back then shit. I was like, oh, he gonna like this one shit. This one. I, certain shit, I'm like, tomorrow I'm gonna fuck with this. <laughs> so I hit you like, this ain't all loop. It ain't all loops. You know what I'm saying? It's some, it's some boom, real boom bap. Not, not, not just label boom bap. Niggas be calling shit boom bap, but it be all loops and samples. No yeah. drums. I'm like, where the fucking drum? Why y'all calling it boom bap with no fucking boom bap in that Hey, so what do you call that, man? Because you spit over that a lot in live cast. What, what do you I call boom, boom bap to me? Like no, what do you call this? Me? What do you call the stuff with the loops? Like what do you, oh, just, what do you call? Oh, uh, uh, it's me minimalist. Uh -huh. Like me minimal. Like because it's not, it's not you don't you're not using everything. You didn't like like you know to me a boom bap is like it's not even just all hip hop beats. For me, I feel like motherfuckers misuse that word boom bap. Boom bap. For me, is like boogie down production sounding music. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. Like criminal minded, but my philosophy, um, early ultra magnetic MCs, uh, you know, certain De La Song songs. It has to have that snare and that, and it has to have that snare in them drums. You know what I'm saying? It's like Bronx, early Bronx music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, bap, boom, bap, boom. Bap, yeah. boom, you know what I mean? They, they, I think they calling this shit boom bap today just because it's traditional lyricists rapping over it. But nah, yeah, I, I, you got to down there put the minimalists in in the uh, yeah. You damn got to say Wu Tang RZA type shit because it's like he was like the uh, the rare. I mean, like the the naked loop dude. Like when you think about, um, I mean, even though he had beats in the shit, but I'm saying like. Like a song like, like uh, Heaven or Hell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, he has. What was that? What was that? He song? had some minimalist production. Definitely. Yeah. You know, like that uh, After the Laughter. The after. Like, you know, shit like that. I, I kind of, you got to get that to RZA when, you, when, you, when they talk about the minimalist type style. Even like, um, what's that song on the Jizz album? Uh, the one with Met. Uh, 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 that whole, that whole, that, what do you say? Uh, uh, I breaks it down to the bone gristle. He'll see his mom is what he's seeking. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. 
Is that that beat is kind of like a loop. It's just Rizzo might add a little bit more drums and shit than what people do today, but I got to get at to Rizzo when it comes to like minimalist music. Yeah, so my question is like, do cat, are cats doing that more as, as a, you know, I'm not an MC. Mm -hmm. I mean, are cats doing that more? Because it seems like, you know, the focus then is just, is more on the lyricism there, right? Right, I mean, that's right, like, right. Like, right. Yeah, nigga, this fucking spit some you know, crazy uh, shit. The, the thing I, the thing where I feel like people are biting at, I feel like the people are biting because of the uh the 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 uh BPM that they're doing it. It sound too much a lot of other producers sound too much like Derringer to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like hella slow. I'm like, I have to be when I, when people send me beats, I have to damn near put it in like, yo, you can send me loops, but don't send me no slow ass Griselda beats because I'm like I don't want to sound like them. They have a certain tempo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Every and I love this shit, but I'm saying like, I noticed that everybody has started slowing shit. I'm like, yo, man, what? I can You can send me some loop shit, but at least make it where I can. You know what I mean? Still, you know what I mean? It can't totally have that metronome in your in your. Yeah, shit. it can't just be like, boop 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 boop. Yeah, yeah. Boop. They can't have that metronome because like ah uh, now. You know, you ain't really gotta. You know, you ain't really. You it ain't, it ain't leaving me no room to style on it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so what you got cooking up, man? I I I I did, I did the knowledge a little bit on your page and shit. I was like, let me. Cook this uh, and I saw the we, we just put, the Baron Davis shit like. Oh me, yeah, what the fuck? Shit. Yo, he dope. Yo, he dope in real life, man. Talk to me about that shit, man. Bruh, but you know he, I you know I'm not really into sports like that. You know that, right? And I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah. Uh, and, and like so, I know some basketball players. I know some football players, but I only know them because either you know somebody introduced me to them or they just that big. You know what I'm saying? But if you just like a a good player that I gotta look up stats and shit, I ain't gonna know who the hell you are. You know what I mean? I don't know none of that. Um, yeah, man, I did a song with him and his brother. Yo, them some hip hop motherfuckers right there, bro. And they 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 like real like real real MCs, like you know. He played me a whole bunch of songs that he did all fire, bro. And I was like, he was dropping jewels and all kind of shit. I'm like, damn, like, this what you really, really are? It's like, yeah, you know, and the thing would make it dope. This, this is like for Baron, this is how you know he's dope. He's not trying to, he's not trying to press the issue about rapping. You know what I'm saying? When you when he plays you some shit, though, you like, this what the fuck you holding back from the world? Bro, he's making like music with, you know, he already got money, so it ain't like he's rapping for money. Right. He's rhyming, you know what I'm saying, for for a real passion. You for know him? what I'm saying? His brother sound like, like a nigga that could have just been like he could have been down with Mob Deep or some shit. They like they the beats they was picking and everything. I was surprised, man. I mean, I did a song with Ben Gordon a few days before that, and that's he's he's a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? Like that was more of the young people shit, you know what I'm saying? But Baron Davis, he's like more on what we do, what the shit we like. Ben, you know what I'm saying? Ben, ben Gordon, though, he, Ben Gordon, I was doing the song with him, was like doing a song with Designer of Future. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, but I would give him this for that style of music, he he actually good at that shit. I'm like, oh, you and him having a good time, man. Huh? Like, Freestyling and all that shit. I'm like, wow. How, but, how'd you link up Baron Davis? Well, you, you know, shit. Originally, when rap, when uh, Cali Agents first came out, man, he used to come to our shows. Oh, what? Yeah, when he played for, back in the day, when he played for Golden State. You know what I'm saying? He was coming to our shows back then. That's how I knew who he was. I didn't even know who Baron Davis was. If it wasn't for Rascal, like, yo, this is my man, Baron Davis. He played for Golden State Warriors. He was backstage one time with us. I'm like, oh, man, God. I remember seeing him on TV. I'm like, oh, what's up, dude? And then I just started noticing. I was seeing him at, like, different hip-hop shows. Like, oh, that's the NBA, homie. See, by me, now that I'm, you know, now I'm knowing who he is, when he would pop up, I'm like, oh, that's the NBA, dude. That's the NBA, dude. So me, personally, I know that he's been in the underground Lingering, lingering around, just chilling, hanging out, coming to shows since Cali ages. So the motherfucker can't tell me he just on some trendy shit or nah. That's bros hip hop. A lot, a lot of niggas ain't been fucking with you since Cali ages. I mean, let's keep it a hundred. I mean, right. Like, this niggas. Oh, B A. 
PA, PA, PA. They don't, Since you know, Cali ages, bro. Uh, yeah, he a real, real hip hop, <laughs> genuine hip hop head. Even the beats that they was picking when I was over there, man, it was the, what the, the shit I have with them, bro. I think people gonna be like, man, I wasn't expecting this, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he. Right, so that might yeah, be, he's a hip hop dude, man. Worthy, worthy he's a hip -hop. Call him, right? That might be worthy of a phone call. <laughs> right, and it's funny how they it just yeah. all the NBA. I was like, "What is this NBA week or some shit?" I just, I'm, I'm like, I keep running into basketball players and in the studio we doing songs and shit. I'm like, this shit is crazy. Wow. Next is gonna be the NFL. I'm like, who in, who in the NFL you think might have some bars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think anybody in the NFL? Think anybody? You think it's like? I bet you it's somebody in that field that got some bars with a lot. You know why? Because them niggas do that fucking whack ass gritty dance. Right. So no. Right. Fuck them niggas. No, nah, nah. They do that shit all the time. Fucking the most supposed alpha male ass niggas be out there with that. Uh, no. They out there twerking. <laughs> Big niggas out there twerking at the touchdown. Three hundred pound niggas fucking No, man. No. Ain't no, yo, them niggas <laughs> patting their cells on their ass and shit. <laughs> I don't like them niggas either. <laughs> nah. 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 They're all like, fuck that. Yo, you see, uh, you, where, uh, nah, don't get me started. What about hockey? You think you see any niggas in hockey with some bars? I bet you somebody in hockey that got some bars, bro. He probably white, though. Yeah. Listen to a bunch of company flow. Yeah. You probably listen to them. a lot of Canadians in hockey, so oh yeah, he definitely. Probably, so yeah, so yeah, so with hockey, well, golf, tennis, golf. Which the, tennis? Maybe <laughs> they might. They probably not big though, but tennis for sure. Golf, uh, if they golf and they they, they probably, baseball got flavor because of because of the Latin players and shit. A lot of the right, Latin right. Players. Baseball. No, nah, I don't. I, them niggas be in the dugout listening to some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, it's, so we. So I'm gonna keep it. It seems like if you not, not not to cut it off, but it seems like if you golf and you listen to hip hop, you gotta be a native tonger. It can't really be. You can't really be like a hot. It gotta be like a native tonger golfer. You but, know what I mean? Like Drez, Drez, Drez golfs all the time. See what I'm saying? Big up Drez. He, he's he's like an avid that, golfer. That sounds like like when you're on the golf course, it sounds like you're supposed to be listening to like. Uh, Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. fucking, uh, uh, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying, buddy? You know what I'm saying? I'm doing our own thing. <laughs> yeah, speaking of that, speaking of that, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk about this, bro. Dave Passion took a big chunk out of me. And I, and like, not, not to be on some weird shit, but like, that, that is like, I feel like I at least lost a, a like a finger or a toe or some shit like off my body, bro. Because for me, man, I don't know, bro. It's like when you talking about daylight, bro. You talking about like that's like man, man. You remember the first? You remember when when Transformers came to the movie theater and and when when Optimus Prime first got killed or some shit and niggas was like heard about that. Remember you was like. As a child, it was like, it was almost like when you came to school, like you could see the sadness on niggas' face. Like, oh, you seen Transformers, huh? Like, yeah, I feel you, bro. Like, come give me a hug, man. I know. It's like, niggas had to, like, give each other love because, like, niggas got traumatized for that shit when we was kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, they kill, kill Optimus Prime, man. Like, word, like, word, like, what we gonna do, man? Like, they kill Optimus Prime. That's how I felt, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first tour, the first tour I ever even went on was with Jungle Brothers. You know what I'm saying? So like, for like me, Native Tongue is like a part of. It's like like an ingredient you gotta have. It's a, it's an ingredient you just have to have, of knowing. I feel like even to be a dope dope MC, if you don't understand the inner workings of De La Soul, specifically, particularly. De La Soul, I got a question. I got to question your 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 uh, your craftsmanship. Like, if you don't really understand De La Soul, 
you can't really be different to me. Like, you can't, you don't know how to be different. I, that's just how I feel. If you don't have De La Soul in your DNA, in, in, some native tongue in your DNA, I guarantee you your rapping is a little regular. It's kind of bland. Because even, like, even if, like, I feel like, if, even if I was to just, if I was a nigga that was just only going to do gangster rap, right? Still, my nigga, you still gotta have some daylight in you for that shit to make, like, for you to have that 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 ingredients of knowing how to make songs where you're not rapping direct. You get like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know the art of not rapping direct and and actually being able to talk about real serious subjects in a decoded manner, like shit, like Millie Millie, Millie put a pull the pistol on Santa. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's in the beat. Lounge. Oh my gosh, Biddy's in the BK Lounge. You know, I, I I had to play that shit for a girl the other day. She, I was like, I'm a, I'm like, listen to what this song is about. And I would quiz her, like, what what is this song about? And I would play it again. I'm like, what is this song about? But and then she like, she finally got like, oh shit, this shit is funny. He works at Burger King, but it'll go over your head if you're not listening. Oh, they do it'll it. just sound like crowd. Biddy's in the, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Did, all the way to that, and then, all the way to Macy's Park. Then, she, it's like yeah, and then the shorty flips it too. Like you know, what I'm saying right. Honda got a real man. Like the whole. Just thing. think about it. There could not be no fucking MF Doom without that. Why? I would say this. Doom, even Doom, became more of a De La style artist towards the end of his career. Why would I say that? Take a song like, for instance, like Operation Stick Up. You know, you know, you ever heard that song, Operation Stick Up? Do you know what that song's about? I don't. Personally. Now I'm gonna fuck your head up. That is one of the most genius comedy songs in hip hop history. And I felt like I like this for me, I look at MF after that song, okay, he's one of my favorites as far as just doing abstract shit or whatever. But when I really understood what that song was about, I was like, oh, because I was high. And, you know, sometimes you could just be sitting, song would be playing. Because I used to fast forward that song. Mm. Bro, that song, is, that song is about a girl with bad breath, bro, and he's trying to offer her gum in a nice way, bro. That's what that song is about. And it's so genius because the fucking samples as he's rhyming, Operation Lifesaver is in effect as of now. Lifesaver? When he said, she just... He's like, she just knew she was cute. He's like, I, he said something like, how about a drink with a Sherlin or some shit? She, he's like, uh, uh, head to the bathroom. We need more ammo. Because, you know, they sell bubble gum and peppermints and shit. Bro, go back and listen okay, to that okay. song now. No, You're going to no, be like, this nigga is straight up bagging on the bitch in front of her. It's almost like if somebody telling you your breath stink and you still not getting it. Like, yo, like, if I'm like, Maybe I should offer her some mint. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 uh, how, what's the easiest, what's the slickest way I can tell this girl her breath stink without offending her, basically? You know what I'm saying? The song is called Operation Lifesaver. Yeah, I mean, Dude, I, this I, shit I, I, is so funny. I, I, huh? I, I, it wasn't regularly played, but I got, now I got to go back yeah. and, and check. You know what I'm saying? Just like that and the, uh, the sad clown, the, uh, uh, you've been dipping around uptown. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, you talking about the bitch? You talking about the bitch cheating on him? But he's talking about himself. He's a, he was a magician with, with shit. That what the niggas like? He's was. like, that's on you if you want to fuck a dude who wear a mask all day. He said, he said, and, and he said, and, and just to think you had some good power, you come on, bro. He said, just to think you had some good power, you been dipping around. So what? I'm like, bro, bro, like, like. You gotta have the native tongue in you. You gotta in order to have native in you for that, bro. Like you, you, you just you can't you can't have the decoded style without three feet high and rising. And daylight soul is dead, bro. Because they they became more digestible for us, like towards like three feet. I mean, like for uh, stakes is high and shit like that. They was more like understandable. But them first three, no, the first, yeah, first three, three feet high and rising. Daylight soul is dead and balloon mind state. Balloon mind state. Slept on joint too. Bro, I used to cry. Look, look, back then, you know, I'm, this is my high school era, we fucking with psychedelics. IV used to make me cry, bro. I was just about to. That yo. song used to make me cry, we bro. Used to make mad, yo. We used to, yeah, we. 
That was the joint. Yo, that's so I am pasta news. I be the new generation of slaves here to make papes to buy record exec rates. A pile of revenue I create, but I guess I don't get a cut because my rent's a month late. Bruh. Bruh. Blue Mind State is slow. Bruh. Woo! And Dave was going crazy on here. That nigga said, uh, he said, uh, I don't check for the noose of the neck, so I never tell my hands that finesse is knocking at my door. I, I choose the rays from the rays of the burning sun and drop and dodge a needle washing up upon the sandy shore. What? What? I wish Dave was different. You know what I wish, man? I, I wish they had done solo albums at one point in their career. Just, I can't, can't lie, man. <laughs> I, I wanted to hear what Dave sounded like. Just so people could see like them stand on their own, because I think they both can hold it down on their own. And, and I think just just to showcase, I always wanted like just just want just they had to do like bunch man. Of man. And, and it's crazy, you know, that's Obviously, that's what makes them daylight, but it's like, it's crazy because like, like every other group tried it, you know what I'm saying? Except them. Think about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I thought Everybody that. did it. Even Outkast did it on one re on a record where they didn't rap on the same song. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you're right. Just like, man, I'm still mad that I'm still, I'm I, I'm still mad that Rock and Kane never did a song together, bro. Like, that kind of pisses me off. Like, they both pissed me off for that, bro. Like I'm like, one of y'all gonna die, dog, and we ain't gonna never know what that sound like, man. And that's fucked up. Like y'all kind of being selfish with that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I am not. I. It's like you know we you know, in our time we was able to see a black president like Obama. You know we got even though we I don't give a fuck about that, but we actually got to see a black president, right? It's like that. Like if we see Rocky McCain, like I kind of like if that happens, I really don't really need nothing else to happen. Cause I, like, I want to hear what they sound like. Even though it's old, and uh, I still want to hear what they sound like on a record together, bro. I would love to hear The fact that they've never done a record, bro, pisses me off, bro. That really pisses me off. All right, all right. So let's stay there, man. What else pisses you off? Cause so, okay, that's your piss off. My Mine, mine is this, that we're coming up on year 25 of Waiting for Muddy Waters 2. And this oh. nigga been forever. And all bro. Logo, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Before. I'm gonna keep it a buck. This gonna sound fucked up of me. Uh, I ain't, no, it ain't gonna sound fucked up. It's gonna sound like I'm tuning my own horn, man. I don't know what it is, but I feel like legends, and I hope y'all watching this. Y'all need Planet Asia to end all your albums, man. I'm just keeping it a buck, man. You need Planet Asia to curate your shit. But like, I'm, for instance, Red Man. If I, for, to, to, for me, to make a good, a good, muddy water Red Man album, I'm gonna tell you who who who, who he would need. He would need three people for me, and it'll just it'll 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 do it all. He needs some mad little beats, some beats from Knots. And some DJ Scratch beats. All he needs is those three producers. Because I, I, I want to hear Red Man with the low end theory bass. The boop, boop. If that, if he don't, if that bass don't exist on the album, that is not a Muddy Water album, bro. You know what I'm saying? If it don't got that old Eric Sermon funneled knots, DJ Scratch, boop, 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 boop. If it don't have that, it's not Muddy Waters. If it's just stale drums and just like. Standard Red Man can't like when Red Man rap over those synthesizer beats. I don't like that, bro. Like, only time that shit ever sounded good is on the Black Album and There is a Dark Side because I feel like There is a Dark Side. Eric Summer was still using a lot of skull snap, uh, and break beats on those keys, you know what I'm saying? And, and as far as like the, 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 the Black Album, you had like uh, my man Rottweiler who's actually good at that type of shit, but. When it's just sounding, when the beats sound a little too Scott Storchy without without the Dr. Dre, just the Scott Storch by itself style, I don't like that style of music. It's just too, I don't know. Red, Red Man rhymes a certain way where it got to have that gritty, oh, cool. it needs that gritty knots. Need, you know what I'm saying? Like that whatever, man. That whatever, man. Boom, boom, whatever, man. They got to have that under bass. If it's just like, Regular drum style, I don't know, man. I, but niggas need me 
Wu Tang need me too. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like if if Wu ever if I feel like if Wu Tang ever wanted to make an album just as good as their first two albums, they would leave Planet Asia. That sounds fucked up with me saying that, but I just I feel like I'm the missing element in a lot of niggas' careers in hip hop because they just so far gone somewhere else with it. Where it's like I know the elements that 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 you need. You know what I'm saying? I be listening. This niggas albums and I'm like, fuck, they they need me. I'm like, niggas need me bad. I'm like, because I because I don't have a uh I don't have a industry standard. I was telling somebody, I was telling my man uh focus this the other day about, you know, I'm I'm I might be one of the only Cali artists that haven't been in the studio with Dr. Dre. And I ain't talking about just even record, I'm saying like I've never been in the studio with with Dr. Dre. So for me, It's going to sound fucked up again. I feel like that's why you he can't find what he's looking for because he kind of like did, like what Planet Asia would do is kind of like where, 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 where his first chronic and his second chronic. I kind of know where he needs to go next because when Dre makes music, it has to change. If Dre, if, when Dre comes out, if it doesn't change how producers make music, it's not a true Dre, Dre album to me, bro. Mm. Every time Dre has came out, he changed music due to the fact that he picks the best producers around the world and reproduce them. So, so when you talk about like that from 2000, you know, from after the second, uh, after Mav album, as far as like with, you know, with Eminem exhibit and all that, when you talk about that era, you're talking about the best, even all, my favorite producers up to, up to this point from 2000 to probably like, Shit, 2010 or some shit. No, from like yeah, like 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 99, like 99 to 2010, he had all the greatest producers you can think of, bro. From Jake One, DJ Khalil, Bink, High Tech. Like so, when you're hearing those that Dre shit, you're hearing a a, a combination of those great producers, but being produced. See, it's, they, you know, it's the difference between beat making and producing. And that's where people, that's where people don't understand. Dre is the greatest producer. I would say beat maker because I don't know about when the last time he touched the machine. But I know one thing: I've heard niggas beats before they've gotten to Dre, and when they get in his hands, it's different. And everybody I know that that has recorded with Dr. Dre, when they go to that Dr. Dre school, when they start recording on their stuff. I can tell the difference in the sound, like, like, like for instance, I'm on, I'm on Exhibit's uh, new album uh, that he's working on, right? You could tell by just in his studio without Dre being there, you could tell that he's been through that school just because, just because of the how sonically the shit sounds. Like, even when I when I went and Strong Up Steady started fucking with uh, Dre and Khalil started fucking with Dre, I even noticed when we would make mixtapes, I'd be like. Damn, my shit sound different than everybody else mixtapes. It's like we rhyming over the same instrumentals, but y'all mix y'all shit different to where it's like the shit is like if you go back and listen to strong up steady mixtapes, how they would mix it, even our our mixtape songs by them going by Khalil going through the, that that school of Dr. Dre, it just does something. But I feel like now he's you know he he's reached that that point where you know. I worked with all these dudes. I don't feel like he would know who's the new dudes for t the next 10 years of the new producers that he would. I know which producers that will sound crazy with Dre going through that Dre, uh, that Dre school. By the time we would hear it, we'd be like, what the fuck is this? Imagine if, imagine if Dilla and Dre would have got a chance to work together. Oh, fucking gosh. Imagine a Dilla beat going through Dre production. <laughs> That'd be a crazy, crazy move. Because you gotta think, all this, all he gonna do is amplify your shit. You know what I'm saying? You, cause you know, you know this, as you go just as far back. You know, I have to always, always teach people this. We gonna go back to the native tongues. We wouldn't have no chronic albums, no G things, none of that, without the first two Tribe Called Quest albums, bro. Dre was, Dre was, comp Dre wasn't competing with no West Coast dudes, bro. They were. The Tribe Called Quest and Dr. Dre thing was a sonic competition 
It didn't even have nothing to do with actual beats, bro. It was all about the sonic and frequency of what they were doing. So think about this. Low End Theory uh, 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 inspired the first Chronic. Midnight Marauders inspired the second Chronic. Now listen to Low End Theory and then listen to the first Chronic. Same frequency. Remember when Midnight Marauders came out, it was like, oh shit, they beats is a little bit more more, it got a little bit more umph to it, like, you know, yeah. oh my gosh, because, uh, 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 uh. you know, that's what Bob, Pow Bob Powers was in this motherfucking bag back then, you know, it was all about Bob Power, that Bob Power sound back then, you had niggas, you know, I, I, I'm blessed to been through every ever of hip-hop, so it's like, that's when niggas started talking about their engineer, you know what I'm saying, like, oh shit, I remember when I first got my deal, I was like, shit, man. I get Bob Power just because I heard this thing in there. Like, I gotta get Bob Power. You know, once we get the album done, let's get Bob Power to mix it. You know, and so Dre, when you look at you look at Law and Theory, look at look how look at the sound of it. It's, it kind of got a little fuzziness to it. G thing still that that first kind of got some fuzziness to it. That Midnight Marauder frequency higher. Aftermath two thousand frequency higher. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Pointing that shit out. Now, like, I just added, like, three. I mean, because I want to now, I got to, because I'm a nerd. Go I, back. Look, Google it. You can Google a picture of Q Tip and Dre holding those records up. Mm. And, you know, you know, for me, it's like when you think about it, if you want to say, like, the, the fathers of sounds on the West and East. Yeah, you know, for that, I would have to get that to Dre and Q-Tip, bro. You know, Q-Tip kind of slept on, because I didn't even know Q-Tip did all those Tribe Called Quest beats, bro, until the fucking documentary came out. Mm. I, mean, I mean, I knew he made beats, but, I, you know, my dumb ass wasn't putting the two or two together. Like, oh, that was, because, you know, I'm thinking, the song was called Mr. Muhammad, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Ali Shaheed Muhammad made these mm -hmm. beats, God. Because mm -hmm. back then, you know, the DJ was more of like, mm -hmm. hands on with, I didn't know Q-Tip was doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know that. I wasn't really realizing Q-Tip was producing back then until like One Love and the song with Mob Deep, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the alcohol song. Yeah. The Danny, the, 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 that joint. And I, I knew he had beats, but then I go, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker's a genius. Like, yo, his beats, he, he, he yo, if, he needs to be put in the conversation more, bro. When motherfuckers talking about beats, it's crazy though, right? Because you don't like you just think of Tribe Called Quest, but yeah, he, he his beats and his, his fingerprints are all over that Mob Deep album. They they still, right. not, not even just producing that joint. I mean, they talk about it like he they was because Havoc was coming up then, so he was they, his his hands are all over that. Yeah, Mob Deep. yeah native native tongue, native tongue, bro. It's Which like created a unique unique sound and and and. It, Legendary status for these cats. So th yeah. it's all yeah. It keeps yeah. going back. We talk, we've had like three conversations and it keeps going back to the native tongue. It's some form of fashion. The same. You, you know, know what I'm so, saying? So I'm supposed to be in another show right now. So we, we got to go, we're going to go for like 15 more minutes. But right. um, there's two, two other things I want to cover with you before we get, get on out of here. Right. Um, yo, so. I'll let this be a little, uh, this, this might even be the last one if we do it. What does hip, hip hop look like to you in 20 years? If we're fortunate, Ooh, we're shit. both the same age, we're like three, four months apart. So like, I got what's- if, 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 me, if, me and, if me and you are around 20 years from now, which I'm, I, I'm pretty sure we should be, I feel like we're gonna be like the old jazz dudes, man, looking at this shit like, do kids even do they still write raps or is it the is it the machine writing the raps for them? Like it's gonna be like some is that a is that a human or is that a we gonna be, is that a human or is that a, a AI? Because you know by, by then they gonna be like motherfuckers the, the computer gonna be rapping for you. You think ghostwriting bad? Imagine the fucking computer just ghostwriting for you. We gonna say you think you think this shit is Dookie Chips now? The AI. Oh my oh. gosh, a the AI. Queer, the AI queer, non genderless, the genderless queer, computerized rapper. 
Oh, that gets offended. That that'll get a that'll get offended if you if you call it what it looks like. That's what's gonna be happening. Like, don't call it a man. Just whatever you do, don't call it a man. Next question. Fuck that. Next question. Did I bring your nightmare to you, bro? Just fucking just ruin the whole night. All right. So, no. All right. Fuck it. All right. So, yes. Oh, you're right. That's the problem. You're right. You're a hundred percent right. All right, fuck it. We done with that question. No, there's a, somebody asked me this earlier, um, but to you, maybe you can drop some jewels for some heads. What are like three or four principal elements of being a dope MC? Like, what do you have to have in your bag, like as an MC before you like you even like? What is some like? What do you have to have? I'm gonna give it straight from Planet Asia though, because it's. For me, it's it's like some shit that I'll notice. For me, what what it kind of let me know if a dude is dope or not is if he's not really trying to tell you that he rap. Mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when I was coming up, being a, a, a an elite MC was like being a ninja, where like you only really brought that shit out when you seen somebody else that was you know. And, you know, we come from an era, too, guy, where it was like, you could damn near see what somebody had on. You know, if a per you know, today you see a pair of Air Max, a pair of J's, whatever. It's just like a pair of shoes. It, when I was coming up, it wasn't like that. It's like, this nigga got on some Air Max, and he got on, like, some guests in a rugby. Like, hmm. He probably knows some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and this is another way. Like, usually his homie would say he rapped. If your homie say you rap and you kind of like being nonchalant about it, I really want to hear you. Right. If you telling me you dope, you probably trash. You know what I'm saying? You, so you got to have, have that, that mystique. You got to have the, if, if, if another rapper is in the room and it doesn't piss you off that he thinks he's a rapper, you're not a, like, you don't have it in you. Like, I still get mad when niggas consider like if I if I don't if I come in a room and niggas be like yo he rhyme he rhyme I get mad automatically like I don't like you gotta prove that shit to me like I still have that at fuck your deal fuck all that ah whatever like cause half the, most most niggas I know that I meet is gonna be whack I, I hate to say it eighty five percent of the people I'm gonna meet is gonna be whack especially dudes like another thing I meet more doper girls than I meet dudes cause dudes outnumber motherfuckers right so when it comes to that shit for me, like, if, if I, like, even me, my nigga, if you were MC and, I, and I'm in a room, you should kind of, it should kind of, like, don't be so happy to meet me. Be like, nigga, like, you know, it's cool and shit, but whatever, nigga. Like, I, I still got that mentality of a, bro, I, you know, I, I never had got an autograph in my whole life, bro, because I was an arrogant little fuck coming up. Like, I, would, I don't give a fuck who I met. I, I'm talking about from the time I was 10. 10, bro. I don't give a fuck if I met LL. Where, I'm not asking you for no autograph, my nigga, because I'm already what you... I'm already that in my head. In my, even if I'm nowhere near it, in my head, I was like that, because I got taught... I'm literally taught by hip-hop, so I, every every song in hip-hop taught me, so, you know, whenever I would see an MC, the first thing I would think is, get off my dick, nigga, and tell your bitch to come in. You know what I'm saying? So I always was like, never really trying to be like, you know, now I'm older and, you know, I, I got peers that we actually know each other. But I'm saying, before I actually knew niggas, like, peace and I'm the fuck out of there. I'm not finna, nah, because I'm I, I'm better than you, my nigga. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? That That's just in my subconscious. Like, you ill, you might be the innocent. Yo, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm better than you. And you're supposed to have that mentality. If you don't have that in you, I don't even want to fuck with you. Like, 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 I don't like niggas with low self esteem. So even if you if you my if you my peoples, you and my you my nigga, I gotta you got I gotta be looked at as food, my nigga, a, until after the track. If you're not looking at me as food, my nigga, we not on the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like right now in my mind, I surpass my bet. Like as of today, in my mind, I'm better than my favorite rapper now, bro. And I honestly say, at first, I didn't think I would ever be that. I ain't gonna tell you who he is. But but I'm better than him now. You know what I'm saying? And I know it. I know it when I write it. I'm like, oh, I'm like, he wish. I'm like, this is some shit. He wish he would. He wish he would say some shit like this. 
You know what I'm saying? But the only way I could I could have got that good is by studying the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got to be better than this. If you don't got no benchmark to be better than some shit, I don't know. And But I just feel like, the you know, if you only about money, you're never going to really get that good because you can't get paid. You can't get paid to be super dope, bro. And I think a lot of niggas need to understand the difference of what dope is and what being a businessman is. You know, being dope is some shit you can't really measure because being dope can only be measured by the by MCs who understand MCing from a mm -hmm. from a certain degree. So if, like I don't even I rarely have conversations with people about music because I know you're not judging it from where I'm judging it from. Like nigga, you know, if you if you if you, if, 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 if 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 what so if what somebody's soul is coming out of your mouth in our conversation, we don't need to have no conversation about what we talking about. Because that would be like saying, you know, Chuck Norris is better than It Man just because Chuck Norris got more movies. No, in real life, It Man will beat the shit out of Chuck Norris. You understand what I'm saying? This is just facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's dudes, you know, even, I love Bruce Lee, but it was dudes when Bruce Lee was alive that used to beat Bruce Lee ass. You know what I'm saying? These, just, I love, and, you know, Bruce, one of my biggest inspiration. But if we talking about what's real, Nah, it was niggas back in the day that have fucked Bruce up. That's how he, the reason why Bruce Lee is who he is is because he got beat up so much by every style that he had to learn the styles. You understand? So at some point, somebody knew how to beat Bruce Lee's ass. You understand what I'm saying? But nobody and, gets out nice, man. It's just never nice. Like, you you, you ain't just, it don't happen. You, you know? gotta be, you got, you know, I, put it like this. If, you know, what makes Kobe. One of the greatest is not only was he good, he actually had the championship rings, you know, but it's not going to always be, you know, a, a player that's going to be put on a good team. So you could, for instance, if you play ball and shit, if, 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 if everything you rating is only on rings, then you can't, that ain't really fair because it's, you can't tell me Vince Carter wasn't a fucking unbelievable when he first came out, bro. Like, Vince Carter was like an alien to me when he first came out. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit wasn't normal that he was doing, bro. You know what I mean? So you can't take him out of the conversation because he didn't have no rings. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Like, like, just like, just like, if you know, Jordan is one of the greatest players of all time. But you, if you, if you, if we gonna deal with reality, man, Pippen was just as good because he had to play with this nigga every day. If you think, if you think, oh, as long as I get by Jordan, I ain't got to worry about Pippen, you don't know shit about this shit there. Uh, no, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. So I just feel like, you know, I, I feel like we going to, I feel like we just come from an era where when we rated something, it was being genuinely rated on fuck your feelings, fuck all that. I don't give a fuck if you're from the West Coast or the East Coast, nigga. I don't give a fuck if that's your favorite East Coast artist or if this is my favorite West Coast artist. If the shit ain't to that standard of, you know, like, motherfucker can't tell me nothing about America's Most Wanted, bro. Like, America's Most Wanted and Death Certificate is two of the greatest fucking albums of hip-hop history. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, not only that, it's, like, one of the most revolutionary... Like, niggas will get banned for making those two albums right wow. now. Incredible albums. This soft-ass generation could not have a... They could not have a death certificate in this era, bro. Facts. Facts. Black Korea, Horny Little Devil. Yeah. Horny Little Devil? Come on, bro. Yeah. He was I kill people for I mean people think you know C Cube now he got the, the league and shit. Yeah, you know, are, you know he, are we there yet? Soccer dad. He's a soccer dad now, you know what I mean? He was, he, but when he, he was calling them white people devils and, and telling them Koreans to get out the fucking hood, you know, get out of our hood from you know doing that shit to us, you know what I'm saying? And talking crazy to the Jews, way crazier than Kanye, you know what I'm saying? They these niggas they like, you know, so I'll be like when people be talking about hip hop and even these fake ass niggas like a Rosenberg, right? No disrespect, but I'm like, like if you, you if you don't like Farrakhan, my nigga, don't listen to hip hop. You can't say you like Public Enemy, my nigga, and you and you don't feel like Farrakhan is relevant or has any relevancy in this culture. You can't if you don't like the 
nation of Islam, if, you, if, you, if you're against the nation of Islam and, fire, and the nation of the gods and earths, you should not be listening to hip-hop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this, you know, that's a big chunk of what this is about. So you can't be like, oh, Farrakhan. No, 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 no. The father was a Farrakhan. Don't tell me that you understand until you hear the man. The book of the new school rap game. Oh, did niggas forget? Like See, I'm those. not one of the niggas that forgot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. No Rosenberg, no DJ Vlad. You, nah, you can't just say anything. Sorry. I come from that school. You, so you'll probably never hear Planet Asia on his show. Because yeah, I want, they, niggas know who the fuck I am, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't play none of them weird ass games. Like, nigga, if you want to be down with this, you're going to have to accept this blackness too. You're going to have to accept some of this rage. You're going to have to accept hearing white devil. You're going to have to accept, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have to hear all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because that come with it. You can't say you like brand newbie nigga and you don't like wake up. See, this is the conversation niggas don't want to have in public. See, me? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up, wake up got banned from MTV. We, why did, wait, why did brand new being's first video get banned from MTV? Because they had one the white devil on there. Some, oh, yeah. Want some, want the some, only person that kept that video is Ralph McDaniels, a video music box. Was it, it was on BET for, yeah, BET Porter, too. Yeah, so see, 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 people scared that. See, the, 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 white, the white dudes I come up with, they know how to have these. They can have these conversations because they had to grow up through that. A, a motherfucker like MC Search had to be around the God Squad. He had to be around Brand Nubian. So he had to hear that 28th degree and the 1 through 40, the manufacturing of Yakub and the devil. Okay? Black hat is bad luck. Bad guys wear black. Must have been a white guy who started all that. Yeah, face. MC Sturk said that. Let's not forget where hip hop really used to be. See, the, see, what now they they trying to sweep it up under the rug. The same shit that they doing an the educational thing about, like getting rid of black history and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but nah, nah. You you fuck with Planet Asia, you gonna hear that type of rap. Yeah, yeah. You going you get in my car. Every you get in my car. I'm I might I might put that. I might put certain music on just to see people facial expressions. Like you say, you y'all say y'all love hip hop, right? This is the foundation of what hip hop is about, homie. It's not no fucking let's get along. No, nigga. Y'all gotta know why we act this way, how the press became this way. I'm not gonna sweep uh the nature of the threat under the rug, bro. And that's to me, that's the pussiness in hip hop right now where niggas is just pussy because that's a that's a motherfuckers don't want to piss off the Leors and the and the Rosenberg. I don't give a flying fuck about pissing off. You ain't hip-hop to me if you ain't pissing them niggas off. Right, right. You're not real hip-hop. If, if, if corporate white people hella love you, you probably not that thing, bro. Right. You're not that thing, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they love you too much, you probably not that yeah. thing, bro. And I know what they gonna say, oh, hey. no, I don't know, nigga, I still get paid. White people love me. I tore Europe, nigga. Cause they like real hip hop. They don't want, they don't want a uh, uh, black, uh, the diet version of black people in America. Yeah. They don't want black. They don't want black light. They want real. They don't want diet African. They want, they want yeah. caffeine, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? When when I go to Germany and shit and all that, they don't want to hear no pussyfoot rap, man. They want to know what makes the black man tick. So if you want to know what the black, what makes the black man tick. You're going to get a real black experience. You're paying for a black experience. I'm not going to sell you fucking Tom Brady when you're looking for Malcolm X. I'm going to give you Malcolm X. I'm going to give you not even El Hodge Malik Shabazz. Malcolm I'm X. giving you Malcolm. N-O-I, fresh with Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm. Not yeah. OAU, Organization of Asiatic Unity, Malcolm. A little bit of Detroit Red thrown in there. Huh? Yeah, with a little bit of Detroit Red thrown in there. You know what, you know, you know, and 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 I and, and I, you know, one thing I noticed by me being like that, man. Like I said, man, white people respect real black people, man, in real life. I mean, I'm just, I gotta just keep it a buck, you know. Unless they try to get something out of you, unless they try to enslave you or some shit. Real white people, like real militant black people, bro. I'm saying for reals, bro. Dante Ross, my nigga. 
is responsible for the what we consider conscious rap and hip hop down there, right? Yeah. It's a white boy, man. Yeah, it's a fucking white boy. Yeah. Ain't no nigga. Wasn't no nigga that 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 that, that let us through the door. Yeah. yeah I mean, I no, major influence, major major thumbprint. On the I'm not saying nothing wrong. This is why I'm not scared to say what I'm saying because. The people that support me are white, bro. This ain't even got nothing to do with being black or white. But I'm saying, when you talk about the truth, real white people like the truth, man. I'm around some of the most richest white motherfuckers all day, and I, nigga, yeah, yeah, I talk that, I talk that that black shit. I talk that black shit, man. The shit that I, I don't change my barbershop talk in front of white people, bro. I don't. For fucking what, my nigga? We got this for 500 years on TV. Me, my little opinion ain't gonna, that shit ain't gonna take back motherfucking babies being stuffed out of black women's stomach, hung from a tree, babies being fed to alligators. You think I give a fuck about somebody's feelings? What? My, my little, that's, we ain't even scratching the surface. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You. So yeah, I don't, like, what, what I'm gonna lose? A job? What I'm gonna lose? Some sponsorship? What the fuck am I gonna lose? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm going to go down in history as a real nigga that white people respected. Not a nigga that tucked his tail because I was so worried about white people's feelings or some motherfuckers' feelings that didn't respect our culture in the first place. Man, get the fuck out of here. Nah, this ain't no get-along gang shit. Mm. I'm not on no get-along gang shit. Uh, nah, hell nah. Uh, you fuck with me, you fuck with Planet Asia because you really fuck with Planet Asia. Not because... Uh, I don't make songs that's, you know, not, you know, I'm tucking in my feelings. All them rap niggas that be tucking in their feelings with all that fake hippie shit, you know what I'm saying? Fake hippie ass rappers that don't never say nothing conscious. They just, they go under the banner of real, uh, of underground hip hop. Nigga, fuck that shit too. Nigga, I'd rather listen to Young Jeezy and Gucci, man, before I listen to any of that soft ass, keeping it real rap that ain't gonna ever that ain't gonna never piss the white man off. If you ain't if you ain't going up against the system, your shit ain't conscious. You just as Gucci man as I might as well listen to them niggas. Mm. Just because you put a just because you put a beat with with, with a sample on it and, and you, you 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 use a you know a few uh words that's not really used that much, that don't make the shit conscious, man. Yeah. Conscious is is is, is talking about shit that's you know ruffling some feathers, my dog. Yeah. You know, public enemy ruffled motherfucking feathers. Brand Nubian ruffled fucking feathers. Fair enough shit. Yeah, no, I feel you. Word. You know what I'm saying? If 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 Queen if if a if a Queen Latif and a Moni Love was to come out today, these 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 fake feminist bitches would lose their minds, bro. They wouldn't know how to handle that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These fake but guess what? It's so fucked up. We so fucked up now that the bitches that that I, would, that I would consider that would that 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 have the conscious look is fucked up to say. When I see a bitch today with hella dreads and shit, I automatically think she probably whitewashed. It's fucked up because they done turned the dreadlocks and the whole conscious look into some fucking pseudo some pseudo tarot card some pseudo tarot card. Uh, 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 what's some skinny bullshit cigarettes? Uh, white people used to smoke back in the day. Them still nasty. Yeah, yeah Virginia <laughs> slim ass, Virginia slim ass niggas, man. Like yo, man, it's stupid, yo. Like, like they, they done, it, it done got so whack that I damn near a chick, a chick with blonde hair and a wig on might have more to say that I'll that I'll vibe with over a bitch with fucking dreads now, man. Because at least that chick in the hood, she gets she she understands a certain amount of reality. You know what I'm saying? That it's still fucked up for niggas because she still got a boyfriend that's. You know, being falsely accused or some shit. But that bitch that's talking all that deep shit and all that, man, come to find out, man, by, by the end of their run, man, they, they gonna marry Brad, bro. They gonna marry Brad, my nigga. All them fake ass Erica Badu looking shit that you don't really, you not Earth. If you not Earth, my nigga, you just got the look, but you not really Earth, you just pseudo to me. Back in the day, if you had a head wrap and you had a certain thing, you knew the, okay, that sister knows some shit. Now it's like, Astrology. Let me let me flip this tarot card. I'm like, baby, you need a message to the black man book. You need a how to eat to live book. You need the fall of America before you try to start getting esoteric for me. Because it seems like you're just going with the look, and you're running into a bunch of fake feminist hoes that really 
subconsciously hate black, black men and they, they end up marrying white guys. Nothing wrong with, you know, who marry you want to marry, but don't act like you're so conscious and black and then you end up marrying fucking Brad and Billy and you got all this fucking dreadlocks and dreads are for rosters, my guy. You don't know who the fuck Holly Selassie is, but you got locks, you're defeating the purpose. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? How the fuck you wearing locks and you don't know who the fuck Holly Selassie is? You understand what I'm saying? So, so much shit is so fucked up. You know what I mean? It ain't, we not getting, we not getting the, 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 the shit that's underneath the surface. That's what I'm saying. Like, today, we living in such an oxymoron. The chick that got the blonde weave on and all the fake shit, she might actually be more conscious than the bitch that has on the turban. Mm. I'm just keeping it a buck with you, bro. Oh. I'm keeping, I'm just keeping it in the buck with you. If I see motherfuckers now, the more cultural you look today, I'm like, you probably a sell us out. Mm. Mm. Yo, I got to get ready to run. Fuck. So, I was going to ask you to spit, but you just did. So, yeah. You just yeah I just had to get them jewels out, you know what I mean? That's it. Love you, brother, for that man, and that that was that was huge. And and, and it's real, I like that. That's some hip hop for your ass. <laughs> you woke up. You woke. You, you woke up quick. That's some hip hop for you, man. You know. You know. And these conversations, this type of conversation, all I'm doing is I'm just ripping the surface off of what people not really understanding about this culture, man. Like it wasn't a free for all when we was coming up, man. You know. In, in our lessons, this says the devil got to study 50, uh, uh, 50, uh, 50 years before he can even come amongst us and do trading. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this shit wasn't no free for all, my nigga. Like, yeah, you, you got to go through that Elijah Muhammad school. You got to go through that Marcus Garvey school. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have no fucking ex-clan or public enemy without black consciousness. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? Black consciousness ain't nice. Black consciousness is not... Let's all fucking get along. It's not that. Hip-hop ain't even that. Hip-hop, but, see, understanding, once you have an understand, under, that's why we say the understanding is the best part. Even though I'm saying this shit that might come out harsh, we're the only music that brought every fucking culture together. Yeah. 